Hello, my name is Tom Morgan, and this is my unboxing and first look at the Ubiquiti Unify G3 Dome video camera. Uh, now, if you've not seen one of these before, uh, the my unboxing is, it's not a review, it's more of a case of just looking through what's in the box, what's included, dimensions, anything to be aware of before you make purchasing decisions. Um, I will do reviews of all of this when it's all up and working and, and, and running, um, but as I'm going through the unboxing process, I wanted to kind of capture that um, so you see the same things uh, that I'm seeing when I'm coming to it for the first time. Uh, also, as a, a quick disclaimer before we start, so Ubiquiti actually sent me this unit so that I could talk about it and do this video for you um, and also do a full kind of review once everything is, is working. Now, if you only know Ubiquiti and Unify for their Wi-Fi solutions, uh, then you should know as well that they do a range of video cameras and video surveillance uh, solutions. Now, so there's the camera, this camera that we're looking at here. Uh, there is a similar G3 camera, which is not a dome. It's more of a bullet style um, and is designed to be mounted outdoors, whereas this one is designed to be mounted indoors. Um, and they also do a network video recorder as well, which can capture all the, the feed from all these different cameras. And all their cameras are designed, they're power over Ethernet, they're designed to work with the rest of the, uh, the Unify line. Okay, so this unit itself, uh, like everything else from Ubiquiti, comes in the white kind of vanity box uh, with the cardboard, uh, so white, white sort of sleeve over a cardboard box. In terms of dimensions, um, I think, let's have a quick look. So just under 180 centimeters by just over 160 by just over 140 and in inches so that's seven by six and a half by around about five and a half okay so let's take it out of its box and now that we've taken it out of its box let's just have a quick look at the back so some information here. So you've got some imagery of the uh, the actual video software that gets used, and then down here some features. So you can see it's a 1080p uh, full HD, 30 frames per second, um, infrared LEDs, and a built-in microphone. Uh, it can be ceiling or wall mounted, and it's got that PoE um, that I talked about. Uh, it also comes in the box. It also comes with a PoE adapter. So what that's for is if you don't have a power of Ethernet switch on your network and you are, you know, you're wiring these into standard switches, you'll need to provide power as well. Um, so they include a um, an adapter for you to be able to do that. Okay. So let's get into the box. All right. So first of all, uh, just almost missed it as I opened the box. This looks like some sort of lens cover. Um, so let's take that out and let's have a look at it. So it's a plastic um, sort of lens cover. It looks like there's already a lens cover on, so maybe it's a spare. Um, we'll have a look in a minute when we go through the quick start guide, but I'll just pop that there. So just as a reminder, I'm seeing this for the first time as well. Um, okay, so this plasticky bit comes off. And the unit itself comes out. So it's actually, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, actually. You can see, let me get the, uh, let me just get this out of the way for a second. Um, I thought it would be quite a big, bulky unit. So looking at the, uh, looking at the picture, it, it kind of looks a bit bulkier than it is in real life. So um, if you had this on the wall, I would say, so you can see the majority of it is around four centimetres or about an inch and a half. And then its very highest point, uh, it is, what, about sort of five and a half, six inches, something like that, uh, centimeters, sorry. Um, just over two, two and a bit, two and a half maybe um, in inches. So that's quite nice. You could imagine on the wall, it wouldn't um, be that obtrusive. Uh, it would kind of look like that. Um, and even on a wall, it's not, you know, uh, Sorry, on a ceiling, I meant to say, not that you know, not that bad. And on a wall, actually, it doesn't poke out that much either. So that's kind of good to know. Um, so let's just pop that down there and see what else is in the box. 
Okay, next we have this metal plate. I imagine that's the ceiling mount, um, but we'll have a look in a minute at the quick start guide. Here is the quick start guide that comes out next. And then nestling in the bottom of the box, uh, we have one of these. This is the power over ethernet adapter. So the idea is if you don't have power over ethernet, you plug uh, your LAN in here to your, your switch, you plug some power in the back, and therefore, and from that you get a power of Ethernet line that you can then plug into the device. Now, um, because Ubiquiti shipped me this device directly, uh, this is an American uh, uh, plug. Now, if you bought it locally, you're likely to have a reasonably suitable plug. If you don't, for whatever reason, and you need to get one, this on the other end is a standard clover or clover leaf power cable, um, and they're they're readily available on Amazon or elsewhere. And finally, in the bottom of the box, we have two packets of screws, uh, one very long with uh, nuts and bolts and a couple of washers, I think, or they're just, they're not washers actually, but they're funky little, um, they're funky little nuts. You see that? Funky little washer nuts. Okay. And here, a more standard looking a uh, set of wall mount screws and rule plugs. All right, let's take a quick look through this. So this is available online as well as a PDF. Um, so you can get it and look at it before you, before you buy. So it does hit, it does mention outdoor installations here. So that's interesting because, oh, here we go. Uh, so this is a bit like some of the other, uh, some of the access points. So it can be mounted outside, but not fully out. So it's not fully uh, weatherproof. So it needs to be somewhere that's protected, um, like like under eaves or a porchway or something like that. So it can't be fully exposed. Um, so I think I'm probably going to mount this indoors because of that. Um, but uh, because I mean, they, if you want an outdoor camera. The G3, that's the more bullet style, is fully weatherproof. Um, so you should kind of bear that in mind. I think this is more designed for indoors or at least sheltered um, installations. Okay. Um, so there's a cable gland. So let's just turn this over and have a look. So, um, all right. Now, looking at the back of this, um, this, as it ships, it actually comes with the, the wall mount plate on the back. So. To remove it, just lift this little um, sort of safety tab, I suppose, and slide it, and it will pop off. And this is the thing that you then mount on the wall. Um, and you can use the ceiling mount as well if you need to. Um, but this is the thing, let's say you're just going to mount it on the wall. So these are four screws that you'll need to, um, to put into the wall. Uh, and I'd say uh, it's too, a bit too big for my... My root is a bit too big for this. They're roughly five centimeters across and seven and a half centimeters down. So more or less, you're looking at drilling in a square that is that's three inches by two inches. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to make four holes in the wall and attach that to the wall. Um, and then this is where the, the cable is going to come in. So on this side, if you look here, this is all plastic, uh, rubber, sorry, this is this, this is plastic either side and this bit in here is rubber and this this actually comes out, this whole piece comes out because down here is the Ethernet connection. So the idea is that the Ethernet cable goes in there, but here is the cable gland where it comes out. Um, so this pops out, this cable gland will pop out. I'm not sure I want to do it now, but let's try it. Yeah, we go. Take that out. Your Ethernet cable comes in through there if that is, so let's say you're mounting it on the wall, if it's coming in across the side, side of the wall, wherever, um, it feeds into the bottom. If you're coming through the wall, you don't need to worry about this, you can just come straight into here. You need to go via this big rubbery thing, so you feed it through there, and that gives you um, a level of protection against the elements. It's not full waterproofing, remember, but it is a decent level of protection against the elements, and your cable could then, from here, come out this way. Uh, into the wall if you wanted, or like I say, along and down the bottom. Once you've once you've done all that, and this is your wall mount, you literally, I say literally pop it in and turn it to lock it, 
and it's in then. And then to unlock it, once it's against the wall to unlock it, you need to put a screwdriver in the top just to release this catch and then you can turn it and, and take it off again. Now, once it's on, you can actually still swivel it around to get the desired view angle, yeah? So you can move it fully from a sort of central point. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, 180 degrees from the bottom, more or less 90 degrees in every direction from the from the bottom, 90 degrees that way and 90 degrees that way. So that gives you like a, a decent, good range. Um, so it means you can mount it and then you don't have to be so concerned with getting it exactly right when you mount it um, and you can then change it, change it later as well. And there's a nice Unify logo on top there as well. Now, this is indeed um, just an extra plastic um, lens cap. You can take this lens cap off just by putting two screwdrivers in and popping it off and putting the new one on. So uh, especially if it's mounted um, outdoors in somewhere protected, you'll still expect that over time it might get scratched or it might get weathered and you might want to replace it um, to increase the, you know, to get back to the original video quality. Okay, so that's uh, that's everything that's in the box for for this uh, for this device. So we've got the unit itself, um, we've got the ceiling mount and uh, mounting screws. We've got the wall mount screws. We've got an extra uh, spare uh, lens cover. We've got the quick start guide, and we've got the power of Ethernet um, adapter and power cable. So that's my unboxing and first look at the uh, Ubiquiti Unify G3 video camera dome.